Hey YouTube, I know it's been a while so I thought I'd do a really quick update. Decided to do a retouch on my hair today and it has been quite a while. Sometimes when it takes a while um, or I haven't done it in a long time, my new growth is out of control and so I have a really hard time getting a really good application. So I tried something different. This time, the night before, I used a spray bottle and I went section by section and just dampened a little bit, used a wide tooth comb and kind of combed out the area. Mind you, you don't want to ever comb too close to your scalp the display before because it will make your scalp soft just like it makes your hair soft. So we really don't want that. That was my night before and more importantly what I tried was twisting my hair with this. This is the Grow Healthy Temple and Nape Grow with almond butter. I think any butter would work, but you can see the butter-like consistency. I used this to twist my hair back the night before just to keep it out of my way and already detangled and ready for me to do an application. Um, I still went ahead and did my Reconstructor Penetrator on my tips before applying the actual Alkaline Mineral Softener. This particular treatment, I put it on around 12.30 and the time I rinsed out was probably about 4.30. So that is the amount of time I let it um, sit. It took me about 30 minutes to do the actual application. So you can kind of do the math. It was definitely about three hours or so, give or take. Um, didn't use any heat except when I treated the ends with a reconstructor penetrator. And I washed, as usual, with a Nutri Shampoo. I always use that shampoo first before I do anything else to make sure I'm using the same products um, as I've said before. After that, I start going with my Kinky Curly Come Clean and Not Today. And I let it sit for quite a while because your cuticles are open and it's an excellent time to get a deep treatment in. After that, final result, you can see I'm getting better with having continuity of the pattern. Now, if you're freaking out thinking, oh my gosh, that's really, really straight and flat and that they're not exactly curls, never fear. One of the things the day of, it's usually very, very relaxed and it starts to curl up as it dries and as it goes on. I also find that using um, a little bit of the, what is it? Talia one? Ha. Huh. Using a little bit of the curl sealer will also increase curl definition. One thing about this, if you are using the Not Today and the Curling Custard, which I do use on top of my Not Today, the Kinky Curly Curl Curling Custard, um, putting this on top, you need to make sure you have a really good seal on your Kinky Curly. Otherwise, it will fight with the Not, uh, not Today and get the little white clumps that you can't get out. So, very, very improv update, but I did want you guys to know that my hair is still doing well, getting some length. Of course, it's gonna shrink because that's what my hair does, um, but thanks for staying tuned. Have a good one, like and subscribe. I'll keep you updated.